long-awaited reunion for a Minnesota soldier and the dog she rescued in Iraq. Their story touched people all around the world, and today, after months apart, Army Specialist Gwen Bieberg and her dog Ratchet are back together. Maggie Newland has their story from Fridley. It's a good story. A story of friendship forged in war, of separation and determination, of overcoming obstacles. A wonderful story. Hey, Ratchet! The story of a soldier and her dog began on the battlefields of Baghdad and reached across the world. I got a letter from a woman in Italy who wrote to me and said how deeply it had touched her, the story of Ratchet. Come here, baby. Ratchet was rescued from a pit of burning trash on Mother's Day and became Army Specialist Gwen Bieberg's best friend in Iraq. He was like my own little personal comfort, you know, just... Fuzzy little love that I could go to any time that I felt down or lonely. Not only was he therapeutic for her, you know, she was his lifeline, so to speak. Gwen couldn't bear to part with Ratchet when she left Iraq, but sending him home became a battle in itself. People in charge would not let him leave. Twice, she says, the Army blocked her attempts to get Ratchet to Minnesota. But with the help of the SPCA and a website petition started by a friend, Ratchet's story gained international support. I thought it would get some attention. I didn't think it would get so much attention. And in October, on the third try, Ratchet made it to the United States to stay with Gwen's parents and wait for her. It's a great ending. And long after the camera lights stop flashing, they will simply be a woman and her dog back home in Minnesota. She's going back to school in September. She's already gotten accepted. Gwen wants to train Ratchet as a therapy dog. We'll go to schools, VAs, hospitals, anywhere where he can be of use to other people and spread his doggy love. It's just the next chapter. There's, there's good things ahead. Their story is far from over. Good boy. In Fridley, Maggie Newman. Ta-da! Drum roll! Drum roll! <laughs> Maybe he needs to make it a laugh. Specialist Joe Dane. Aww. Does hold. Hello? <laughs> scoot over to the right a little then Barb scoot over and David why don't you come up here oh my god 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 oh 
Oh my God, you just... Oh God, I can't get up. Help me get up. Oh, honey. I knew it was a halo thing you said earlier today. Oh, honey. I knew it. Oh. I hated lying oh. to you. I was <laughs> just saying. Did you know? <laughs> you knew. I knew oh, you honey. knew. Oh, I miss oh. you so much. Oh my God, David. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad that's over. With. <laughs> no. Did you know it? No, I didn't. <laughs> Did you know you're okay, okay, Mom? Yeah, I'm okay. You know, I had a feeling, well, but I'm thinking no. Uh, Megan would have said something to me. You said by something now. a while ago. Here, come on out there. He wasn't sure. You, you. Hug each other now. <laughs> I have proof that you guys hug. I just got a video of it. <laughs> That's why we had to have Grandma sitting down. Now everybody pose. <laughs> All together. Everybody go back and pose together. You want to get it out by the water? Yeah, fine oh by me. Oh my god. Oh my god. We didn't get one with Megan. Oh my god. Okay. Your surprise is in the backyard. In the backyard. Oops, sorry. Okay, run out back. Nothing? Is it nothing? Where's the surprise? Where did the surprise go? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Isabella, where is that? <laughs> go see your dad. <laughs> Is he blind? Yeah, a baby. I heard Ethan snore. Oh, he's snorting. Oh. <laughs> Yay! Isabella, did you know who that was? No. You didn't. What's the
Okay. What'd you get? <laughs> oh my gosh, hi Taylor! Scared the crap out of me. <laughs> So we're here waiting for my boyfriend Judd, 11 months of deployment. Carlo's here, she's very excited to see him. Just kidding, she has no idea what's going on. But we're at the hangar just waiting for them to come and I'm so excited. So I have the walker because of cataplexy, which is a symptom of narcolepsy, where when my emotions get heightened, like excitement, my muscles give out and get weak and I get paralyzed. So this is helping me out because my legs are like jello right now. Just so you know.
You remember you wanted me to get early D set to come to your party? Pretty much. I don't know if I could get him, but we'll look over. Come on. Daddy! <laughs> oh. um. Is he better than early D set, Lily? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Daddy. Daddy. <laughs>